My name is Yan Yuan Tui. I will introduce our recent study on heat activation of TRIPD1 ion channel. This work was conducted in a Zhong lab at UC Davis in collaboration with the Wang lab at Peking University. TRIPD1 is highly temperature sensitive and serves as a cellular heat sensor. Here, as the experimental temperature increases, the channel opens rapidly. TRIV1 can also be strongly activated by capsaicin, the compound that gives chili pepper its spiciness. Our study aims to understand how thermal energy drives TRIV1 activation. Our previous rat study showed that fluorophores attached on the core turret reported a large movement of this region during heat activation whereas no movement of this region was detected during capsaicin or voltage activation. Moreover, neither S1-S2 linker nor S3-S4 linker show noticeable movement when heat, capsaicin, or depolarization was used to activate the channel. These observations suggest that the port turret is separated from capsaicin and voltage gating but is specifically involved in temperature-dependent gating. To further test the turret's role in heat sensing, I made a series of turret deletion mutants. Among them, only D1 was functional. To recover the function of D2 to D4, I made four sequence replacement mutants, which were all functional. Importantly, all these mutant channels showed near normal capsaicin sensitivity. Data from D1 are shown here as an example. Single channel recording further confirmed that both wild type and D1 could reach an open probability near unity at high capsaicin concentration. All of these confirmed that the turret region is not directly involved in capsaicin induced activation. However, Turret mutant channels show significantly altered heat response. This can be seen in four different ways. First, heat is less effective in activating the mutant channels. Heating to the same temperature induced a much smaller current in the mutants compared to the wild type. The reduced heat response was not a result of slow gating kinetics because lengthening the heat pulse did not yield any increase in the current amplitude. Second, using an amplitude independent analysis, we found that the activation threshold temperature was significantly shifted to the left in D1 mutants, as well as the turret replacement mutants. This suggests that the dynamic range of heat activation is altered by the turret mutation. Interestingly, Turret mutant channels show heat-induced, rapid, irreversible inactivation. This inactivation process can be seen in the wild type at high temperatures, but becomes more prominent in the mutant channels and occurs at much lower temperatures. Lastly, since one characteristic feature of the highly temperature-sensitive activation of thermal trip channels is the steep current temperature relationship. We compared the slope of heat-induced current activation using an R-value as shown here. We found that the turret replacement channels showed a much smaller R-value than wild-type TRIV-1, indicating that they are less temperature sensitive. The R-values for a couple of mutant channels were found to be so low that they are indistinguishable from the R value of the KV7.4 channel that was chosen and as an example of the ordinary ion channel without high temperature sensitivity. All of these observations demonstrate that the turret mutant channels have a largely altered heat response. In summary, we found that the turret region is indispensable for channel function. Perturbations to the turret structure strongly affected temperature-dependent activation, whereas they had minor effects on capsaicin activation. These findings suggest that 
a dual holosteric mechanism may underlie the gating of GV1 by heat and capsaicin. In this mechanism, there is little coupling between the initial capsaicin binding and temperature sensing steps. Instead, capsaicin and heat promote separate transitions that are elasterically coupled to the close to open transition of the channel pore. Although a detailed structure interpretation of this model requires further study on how thermal and chemical energies are transduced along their gating pathways, the physical separation of the two pathways becomes clear. Capsaicin binds to an intracellular binding site in the S2 S4 region. Conformational change in this region is coupled horizontally to the pore. The heat activation pathway is largely unknown. Although the outer pore region, including the turret and the selective filter to the S6 linker, is clearly part of the protein structure participating in a heat induced conformational rearrangement. It is thus possible that a vertical pathway exists for heat activation. Our study leads to a number of open questions regarding TRIV-V1 heat activation. For example, how the pore turret moves and how this movement is coupled to temperature gating. What are other parts of the channel that may also participate in high temperature sensitive gating? Is there a single heat sensor in TRIV-V1 or multiple channel structures contribute to temperature sensing process? Answering these questions requires future experiments. As a large fraction of what have been reported on heat activation is from mutational studies, it is important that approaches other than mutagenesis will be used in the future study to elucidate heat-induced changes in thermal trip channel proteins.